So uh, I said, well, did they find some information collect connecting Saddam to Al-Qaeda? He said, no, no. He says, there's nothing new that way. They just made the decision to go to war with Iraq. He said, I guess it's like we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we got a good military and we can take down governments. So I came back to see him a few weeks later, and by that time we were bombing in Afghanistan. I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. He said, he reached over on his desk, he picked up a piece of paper, and he said, I just, he said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. I said, is it classified? He said, yes, sir. I said, <laughs> I said, well, don't show it to me. Starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. We start with the latest on the deepening crisis in Sudan, a crisis that now threatens to engulf the entire region, according to the head of the United Nations. Straight to a Fox News alert, violence escalating in Sudan overnight. The U.S. military airlifting its embassy staff and their families from the country. Several countries are moving their citizens and diplomatic staff out of Sudan. Violence there is escalating. This morning, uh, the U.S. has no embassy operating in Sudan, a country on the brink of civil war. It's a weird coincidence. It was a little too weird. <laughs> Almost makes you wonder if it's not a coincidence at all. Whoa. <laughs> Which it is, of course. But it makes you wonder. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. 